We got when a badass old anime character makes a legendary entrance. Let's check it out. From my boy Vinny. While anime is generally a medium for the youth to enjoy and one that tickles their idealism, it also has no shortage of badass old men, older characters, grizzled veterans and the like who have their fair share of awesome fights and entrances. So for today, we're going to be taking a look at my favourite moments where older characters show okay. that they still have it with an epic entrance and flex to boot. We'll open up with a bang thanks to the timeless classic Hunter Hunter. This is a hood classic. It's a hood classic. Oh my god. If Chaos still here, you, you know he loved this part. In an arc full of memorable moments, how could we ever forget the awesome entrance Natero and Zeno pulled? Natero is one of my favorite mentor characters, and he's got no shortage of. You watched this moments. episode when yesterday? Dragon Damn. Was presented in anime form, the team truly nailed it. For the chairman of the Hunters Association, anything less would this be. This is a badass, crime. right, the dear? Awesomeness dear. Of the Dragon Dive only serves as a preview for other memorable fights later in the arc. After all, he did steal the show with one of the most epic battles this arc gave us, matched only by the Gone Ones. This is a goosebump-inducing moment befitting of one of the best arms shown in anime. This man was hitting the Buddha on the ass. Next, we move on with Jiro Cho returning in glory. I haven't got to this part. Still new to Gintama. When talking about Jirocho, our fondest memory hey, Killer, was this badass? The moment in episode 211. Remember when he gave Gintoki a lesson in pain? An awesome fight with fight? emotion which saw Gintoki actually go out and still lose. Almost 150 episodes later, he makes his grand return and it's a scene that's nearly as memorable as that Gintoki fight. It's a scene that got fans going wild. Seeing Jirocho arrive with his gang to even the odds was something that some people expected oh, but all that knowledge doesn't make this moment any less awesome. After such a heat fight that they had before it felt awesome to see Gintoki and Jirocho team up the succeeding flashback also gives us some much wanted backstory for Jirocho shedding more light about Damn. his past with Otose in terms of actual fighting I still have the fight against Gintoki as my best Jirocho moment but this one's not too shabby in comparison I smell some good plot there anyone up for some badass butler action well Walter's got you covered Walter I've watched this a minute. Battle butlers are quite the fun trope in anime, don't you think so? We've got the Sebastians from both Black Butler and Overlord, but how about Walter from Helsing Ultimate? With the way I talked yeah, about I Helsing in cold. the previous videos, I wouldn't blame you for thinking it's the Alucard show. What if I tell you Walter's just as crazy OP and badass as our protagonist, but in his own way? Here, Walter gives our guests Ooh. a very warm welcome, complete with razor wires, a very intimidating wall that's full of presence, and a methodical approach to chaos. Fight and struggle as they might, these these enemies stand no chance, and it's old Walter we're talking about here. Imagine Prime Walter coming in and laying waste to these fools. Sure, it's not as awe-inspiring as Alucard's feats and transformations, but, but when you consider the context and see what nah, Walter this is bad ass. I forgot about this fight. Of, it's still a pretty damn good entrance and fight, isn't it? Fight is a stretch, actually. More like a slaughter, if you ask me. <laughs> a murder! Oh! Ooh! Jiraiya got the piercings is out. The talked about appearance. Jiraiya. Jiraiya. My boy. Man, he was a goat. Moments in the entire run of Naruto. However, one moment that I feel doesn't get enough focus is the time he saved Naruto and RP, Sasuke from Itachi and Kisame. You know, the time way back when Itachi was still meant to be evil. It's a pleasant surprise to have Jiraiya appear just when our two protagonists are on the brink, and his appearance gives a much-needed dose of light-heartedness and relief in this moment of tension. And then Sasuke just had to try. Boy, and Jiraiya it. had Itachi and Kisame shook. Spotlight before getting punished for it. With that little commercial out of the way, though, we get 
yet Jiraiya easily turning the tide. So hell no, we ain't fighting this guy. All without those hacks eyes, demon beasts and the like. People are still debating now whether Jiraiya can take both of them or not. But I think it's much less of a concern than just actually appreciating the moment. Remember yeah, appreciate it, greatness, man. Don't worry about that. that. Doesn't get talked about enough. Also, a subtle shot of power as Itachi and Kisame both don't want a piece of him when they're not at full strength. But hey, if you feel bad for not being able to watch the shows here legally, help is on the way. ExpressVPN's here to solve all those problems. Whoa! VPN's the you just pop a sponsor that fast? All you have to do is be not miss. I've got a link to I didn't realize I was in a sponsor. Hold on. Ooh, I didn't watch this in Goku Basara. There are many incarnations of Toyoshi in anime, but are any of them Ooh. as badass as the one from Sengoku Basara? I played the game. The hill, Hideyoshi bravely that was when I was younger. A literal horde of archers looking to give him a swift end. Of course, though, it's not meant to be. We're all expecting nah. him to pull something cool to overcome the supposed stacked odds. This is a call, bro. Expect him to step forward, draw no weapon, and simply just wave his hands, creating a shockwave strong enough to not only repel the of arrows, but to just send everything back all by himself it's not some godly samurais off by literally opening the heavens that shine a spotlight on him that's a major last boss i don't know what right i don't you. know Just what the they are but i ain't gonna lie someone who's <laughs> in my book the most impressive amongst the major characters in this show i mean imagine fighting and being such a big badass to dominate the battlefield without a single weapon it doesn't get more hardcore than that now does it yeah they gotta be samurais I think they're samurais. versus Yuha started off with an explosion, if you will. Memory. Oh man, Yama! Oh my god, D.E.O, close your eyes, bruh. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Take off your headphones, too. So long. We've all faithfully waited for the day when Yamamoto finally unleashes his full strength and shows us why he's the strongest of the Gote in the Captain Commander. Well, the time has finally come, and Yamamoto arrives in front of Yuha in a blazing inferno. It's an entrance that gave me and Bleach fans all over the world something to cheer for. Yeah, this fight was so dope, bro. Off, utterly annihilating some it's too late. Shines <laughs> a ray of hope for the Shinigami who been like flies beforehand. The atmosphere of this entry has been perfectly captured by the anime team, and it's followed by what many consider to be the best episode of the thousand year blood wars yeah. first core a total showcase this is the best episode for sure to for sure title, one that i also featured in another video not so long ago when even aizen doesn't want to mess with you you know you're something special and yamamoto proceeds Damn. to show us why in the following episode this man was so broken King Bradley also has a pretty cool entrance. King of Bradley, Fox. bro. Hey, like, he's my top three favorite characters in Full Metal Alchemist. You on episode 60? Oh, for Bleach? Ooh, we got a long way. We've all seen Madara showcase the power scaling of his own series universe with an impressive feat of soloing an entire army, but he's not the first to do it. Granted, King Bradley may also not be the first one either, but this is one of the first memories I have of a villain doing it. Imagine a guy going solo and just so badass. everything down, leaving behind a trail of destruction. I mean, it's the stuff of nightmares if you're one of the poor soldiers caught in the crosshairs. All the time, King Bradley approaches his enemies with an uncanny, almost unnerving sense of calm, showing complete yep. control over the situation when the result was never in doubt. And the most stunning part of this was once you settle down and look back at it, King Bradley wasn't in his prime. He's aged was in his and prime. Oh my god. This, this moment is memorable for a lot of things. It firmly established King Bradley as an immense threat who still mows down enemies like nothing even way past his prime. We're wrapping this, this list up cold. with none other than a One Piece entry. Here's Rayleigh versus Gizaru. Oh, haven't seen this. Back in the era of One Piece, when everything was just simpler, Rayleigh made an entrance that really left an impression. Go fight. Just when Gizaru's got our heroes dead to rights, here comes this old man. Bro, they look mad tall, bro. Golly. It's a moment that ages extremely well when you look back at it right now and think of the power scaling at the time. This is a guy who's really old. Now, nah, but he looks mad, time, bro. He's taller. An admiral, <laughs> and actually keeping up with him was a thing that amazes you even more when you look back with hindsight. By all means, no one who's past his prime and that supposedly rusty. Nah, he gotta be seven foot, bro. Kizaru, but this man did it. I personally hope the fight would have lasted longer, but it's not exactly a serious fight in this case, is it? So that's. 
understandable, I guess. Still, some amazing feats from good old Rayleigh here. Who knows what Rayleigh in his prime can do? Oh, soon. Nah, this is a good video. Do it. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And Yo, this is a good video. This is a W video, Vinny. <laughs>